So here to talk about the Palette Cafe, which is located at 155 Lake Avenue in Lancaster, New York. Their hours of operation are Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're closed Monday, Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., and then Saturday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, they're located next to Brando's Pizza and also across the street from an Irish bar. Their parking is really small, um, but it doesn't seem to be a problem because pretty much depending on what time of day you go there, people are usually in and out of there. They're just grabbing their coffee and going. Uh, not, not everyone is sitting down. It's not a huge sit-down place like Lancaster Coffee & Co. has a decent amount of space to sit down. This place is not really, not a whole lot of tables. You can sit down to eat, but there's, you know, it's not going to be like a Tim Hortons or a Starbucks. So, you know, there's kind of limited space. But the atmosphere is nice. It's quiet. It's in a nice, quiet, safe neighborhood. There's fresh flowers whenever you walk in. There's fresh flowers on all the tables, uh, flower pots. Um, <clears throat> one thing I really like about their table setup is that though there is a table by the door, which is just like Lancaster and Coffee Co. had a table by the door, Palette Cafe, the table that's by the door, they have a space heater there. So even if you eat there, which I did my first time because I wanted to, you know, see people going in and out if I was going to freeze like, the, like I did at Lancaster Coffee, <laughs> um, I did not freeze. I actually had my jacket off, I had my sweatshirt off, I took my hat off, everything, and I was fine because that space heater was there. They did it right. They had a space heater there. So that's something I wish Lancaster Coffee & Co. would do. Because uh, obviously I froze there. But this place had a space heater. So that's nice. I'm glad that they bought uh, to do that. Smart. Um, but other than that, the uh, the seating capacity in there, is, it's on the smaller side. Um, I'd say like... There's one big table in there that can seat maybe eight people, and then uh, there's two, like, recliners by the fireplace that they have, small table, and then the rest of that space is maybe three small tables, maybe, uh, before you have to get to their counter and everything, so it's not a big eating area, but... You know, the majority of people going in there, they're just grabbing their coffee, going, you know, on their way to work. So, yeah, I guess it would depend on when you do go in there. In the morning time, when they first open, obviously you're fine. You'll have a parking spot. You'll be able to eat. If you do go later on, um, more towards lunch hours, it when I went the second time, it was... You know, a little bit more packed. My mom and I, we ended up eating at the table for eight. And we were only two people. But, you know, that's all that was available. So, that's where we ended up. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways. Their setup is similar to... Their, their menu is similar to Lancaster Coffee & Co. They have very similar items. Uh, they don't have the macarons. But they have, you know, a nice coffee menu. And their coffee actually tastes like coffee. Their coffee, to me, is more on along the lines of spot coffee. Uh, you can actually taste the coffee. But it's not strong like Starbucks. It's not strong like Tim's. Uh, but at least you will taste coffee. Whereas at Lancaster and Coffee and Co., pff, <laughs> you don't taste coffee. So, um, yeah, their Frappuccinos taste like Frappuccinos. However, my mom, who's the coffee drinker of the family, she did not like their coffee. She didn't like it. She had a black coffee, but she did not like it. So, but I can't comment on that. I can only comment on what I really experienced. I like their coffee. Um, and their menu, like I said, their menu is very similar. Like, they both have the avocado toast. I didn't have it, though, but they both have very similar menu to Lancaster Coffee & Co. It's just at the Palette Cafe, actually, she's actually at least a dollar to three dollars higher than Lancaster Coffee & Co. And her portions are a lot smaller than them. 
Um, her portions are still okay. They're a decent size. It's a nice presentation, too. Uh, everything is very professional, you know, uh, very, uh, like as if you're watching the Food Network. Everything's, you know, presented and, and placed on the plate nicely. It's not like you're just getting a slop of eggs slapped down on your plate, you know. It's not like that. So the presentation is definitely nice. Um, but the portions are on the smaller side. And another downside of it, especially for breakfast, which I've been there three times for now, is my mom did point out something that I didn't catch the first two times that I ate there, but she did say, Mary, this is a greasy place. She said it's greasy. And I concur. I agree with her. It, it, they are Unfortunately, it's too bad because I really liked the place, you know. Maybe, maybe I just don't go there for food. Maybe I go there for coffee, you know, but, um, you know, from now on. But, um, yeah, it's too bad because they have a nice, nice, just nice present. Just everything's just so nice in there. It's so quiet. It's a nice place to go and, and just chill and just, you know, get away from the hubbub and the hustle and just the little craziness of life sometimes, you know. A nice, quiet place to go and just chill, kick back and chill. But, um, yeah, I have to agree with her on the food. Unfortunately, it is a little greasy. So if you're one of those people that have to mop it up with a napkin, you're going to have to do that at this place, at least regarding the eggs. I don't know about the other menu. I've only ever had breakfast there, so I don't know about the rest of what they serve. Um, I've only ever had poached eggs, hash browns, um, fruit cup, uh, the turkey sausages, which are really small. They're like that big. Yeah, they, and it, it was greasy, so. But, uh, other than that, I mean, I like the place. But ever since my mom came with me and she pointed this out, she's like, don't come back. I'm like, well, you know, I'm still going to support this local business. But um, she's like, well, you know, like she didn't like the coffee. I don't know. I guess to each their own. But uh, I liked it. I just don't. I haven't been back, though, since because of the grease. But it is a nice place. It really is. And, um, you know, I guess rating-wise, what do I give them? Comparing this place between them and Lancaster Coffee & Co., Lancaster Coffee Co. completely blows this place out of the water. Um, you get much more at Lancaster Coffee & Co., and the prices are cheaper at Lancaster, Lancaster Coffee Co. by at least two bucks. Um, and the portions are huge. The only thing I don't like about them is that their coffee is weak. Whereas the Palette Cafe's coffee, in my opinion, is good. Like spot coffee. Uh, she didn't think so, but I did. Um, but, uh, yeah, the downside of this place is the grease, smaller portions, and it costs more than the other place. So, but on the plus side, they have decent coffee. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Uh, other than that, though, that's pretty much all I can say about them. You know, I guess if they dropped the grease, they'd be fantastic. Uh, as for, like, a rating, what do I give them? Uh, three, three stars, three and a half. You know, um, they need to... There's some things they need to tweak. Um, but, eh, three stars. But, I mean, don't count them out. Check them out. If you're in the area, check them out. It's a really nice place. You know, maybe don't have the breakfast. Maybe go for just coffee or a pastry or something, you know. Uh, other than that, though, that's all I got to say about them. Thank you for watching, and I did try to keep it brief.